today's episode of the Lions Roar News. Fun fact, what do bulletproof vests, fire escapes, windshield wipers, and laser printers all have in common? Answer, all invented by women. Next week is the start of districts for our basketball teams. The first game for the girls is the 21st at 8 p.m. versus Raceland. The first game for the boys is the 22nd at 7 p.m. versus Russell. Make sure to wish both teams good luck and come out to support. Track practice starts next week on the 22nd. Students meet at the track at 3 p.m. The softball team is selling t-shirts and hoodies size ranging from youth small to 3X. T-shirt prices range from $12 to $14 and hoodies are $25. Chromebook checkouts are now only during first period or before and they must be returned that same day during seventh period or immediately after school. Anyone who wishes to take the ACT on April 2nd must register by February 25th to meet the regular deadline. Fine. Any for anyone who wishes to purchase a yearbook, they are on sale for $60. Order forms can be picked up at the office or in the library. Orders can be turned in at school until May 1st. You can also order online at theyearbookforever.com until the end of the school year. Don't miss out on these memories. Tutoring will be in Ms. Alvin's room every Tuesday and Thursday from 3 to 5.30 p.m. and buses will run. Beta members need to check the bulletin board for volunteer options for middle school boys basketball and the Saturday league. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Johnson or Mrs. Sullivan or look at the bulletin board out front. Don't forget about the Macanvia Reading Challenge. The student and the teacher who reads the most books in Macanvia in the month of February will win a prize. So hop on the Macanvia app and start reading. The lunch menu for Friday is barbecue pulled pork and Tuesday is chicken sandwich or spicy chicken sandwich. Next week's weather prediction are rain showers throughout the week. Temperatures will rain from high 40s to mid 60s. Make sure to stay dry. That's a wrap for today's edition of the Lions Roar News. We will leave you with a short video about President's Day. Go Lions!